If you plan on installing, replacing, or repairing existing ductwork or installing new ductwork, you may need round pipe, you may need elbows, you may need takeoffs, you may need boots and other items that are used for installing new ductwork or replacing or repairing. I'm going to show you some of those items that you may need to keep in stock if you have an HVAC business. Let's take a look at all the different sizes of pipe and the fittings that we use. This is six inch, most commonly used for supply lines. You've also got supply and return trunks that are usually in larger sizes, but this is eight inch, 10 inch, 12 inch, 14 inch, all the way up to 20 inch. We've got 14, 16, 18, and 20. 18 and 20, usually you're running a trunk line. Uh, the smaller sizes, usually you're running lines. We've also got elbows. We got different sizes from six inch all the way up to 20 inch elbows. That is a Y fitting right there. Sometimes you use an eight inch line and then do a six, six, eight or an eight, six, six Y. And this right here is a Y right here. Also, you got flex. You may want to run flex. There's two different types of R value. I think there's actually three. So you've got R4, R6, R8. We like to use R8. You've got flex from six inch all the way up to 20 inch flex. Make sure you know exactly what R value you need to keep in stock. Then you've got your double wall pipe. So if you're installing a gas furnace or a gas appliance, you may need to use this type of pipe depending on if it's 80% or 90%. Then you've got some more fittings for that exhaust. You've got this roof flashing for making, making penetrations. You've got these adjustable uh, 90s right here that are double wall. And then you've got your single wall here. Single wall pipe, four inch, five inch for running exhaust. Now, let's take a look at another building and look at more stock. This is the room where we keep our boots in. This is an angled boot. This is a center end boot, and this right here is a straight boot. You may need different types of boots depending on how the floor joists are laid out, and this boot is where your supply vent is actually installed. You'll need to insulate that boot as well, and there are boots that are already pre-insulated you can get. FPDs, you have filtered FPDs, and then you have non-filtered FPDs, and these are installed inside of a drop ceiling. So they're two by two uh, grills that you can actually install in a drop ceiling. And this is where we keep all of our boots. There are different types of boots. You can see that right there. There's a boot, straight boots, 90 boots. Usually we keep our three inch wrap in this building as well. And that is the insulation. And we're gonna go to that next. Used to wrap pipe with, and we use three inch. There's two inch and three inch, but we always use the thicker better insulation so this is three inch it's r value 8.3 you can see that right there here's a box of 90s and you can see where it says eight inch 30 gauge 90s this is a box of 90s and this is a box of eight inch straight elbows you can get them to where you can just adjust them to 45 or 90 or whatever you need if you don't know how to size ductwork and you don't know how to install ductwork I've got a video on DIY ductwork installing and also sizing ductwork. So go check it out. Links in the description for those two videos and they're members only. So definitely click the join button, become a member and let me know when you do it. I'll give you my email and send you a bunch of guides. Things I want to show you here. There are different types of pads, pads for an outdoor mini split condenser, ductless condenser, uh, 36 by 36 pad for a condenser. Uh, four foot by five foot pad for a package unit and then over there is I'm pretty sure a four foot by four foot pad for a larger condenser you've got gas line here from half inch all the way up to two inch we've got PVC pipe and gray conduit gray conduit for running the electrical to the units and then we've also got PVC uh, just in case you need to cut a piece if you're drilling a hole through a wall and you need a chase uh, or some covering to go over your wire to run through the wall or line sets you may need that pvc supply vents or floor registers these are floor registers these are ceiling registers these mount in the ceiling for your supply vents and these mount in the floor inside of your boots both of these go in the boots. There are different types, uh, sizes of boots. There are four by 10, four by 12, and six by 12. So you can get different types of 
uh, floor registers and ceiling registers. You can see this right here is a small four by eight, and then you've got a six by 12. So these are ceiling and this is floor. What do we typically use? Well, it depends really if you're using a, if you're running a supply vent to a bathroom, we may use something small like this, four by 12 or four by 10. If you've got cabinets and you've got a kitchen, we may put this grill on the uh, bottom of the cabinet. And this is a two by 12. So heart and coolie, if you wanna look at different types of uh, supply registers and return grills, you can look at heart and coolie. Filters, one inch filters, and then we've got two inch filters. So you may be doing some commercial maintenance. You may need some two inch filters. If you're not doing commercial maintenance, you're doing residential maintenance, you may need one inch filters. Also, Armaflex or insulation for copper. Say you're running line sets, you may need some insulation. Typical sizes, three quarter, seven eighths. Return grills. How do you mount your filter with a return grill? You have different sizes of return grills, 20 by 20, 20 by 25, 20 by 30, depending on the size of your equipment, will depend on the size of your ductwork, size of your return, and the size of your return grill. You wanna know more? Check out my duct sizing video. Gas pipe fittings. You may need to keep gas pipe fittings in stock, like shutoffs, like nipples like this. This right here is three quarter. And this right here is half inch. You got a cap right there. I'll show you a few more fittings in the parts room. PVC, you may need to keep some traps, some elbows, some T's, some couplings, some caps. You may need PVC pipe fittings. So that's schedule 40 PVC. And that's for installing drains and doing different configurations. You need different fittings. Liquid tight flexible conduit. Say you're installing a condenser and you need a new whip, you may need some conduit, some liquid tight flexible conduit. Half inch, three quarter, one inch, inch and a half. Copper, three eighths, half inch, three quarter, seven eighths. You may need to stock copper, especially if you're installing new split systems with new line sets. Insulation table, this is where we cut the liner a gluing station. This is where we glue that liner onto the ductwork. And this is the liner we use. This is one inch liner. There's half inch, there's one inch. We use the one inch liner. Ladders, you may need ladders. If you have a HVAC company, chances are that you are getting on a ladder and installing some ductwork. So you may need a four foot, a six foot, an eight foot, and a 10 foot ladder. Those are two eight foots, a four foot, and a 10 foot. It looks like all the sixes are probably out. Track pipe, this right here is track pipe and this is great for installing gas line, makes the job a lot faster, a lot quicker. And in most places this is used and it is code, but you need to check and make sure that your local codes will actually allow this to be installed. Typical track pipe sizing, half inch, three quarter, one inch, and they have even larger sizes. Durodyne. A pin spotter. These are little spot pins. See this? This is how we keep the liner on the metal ductwork. And this right here is the machine that we use to spot pin. This is a compact pin spotter, Durodyne. You may need one of these. You may need a table to do the work. A dolly to transport equipment from your vehicle to the location where it's going to be installed. You may need a couple different size dollies. We've got Big Bertha back there and we got the little dolly here. MIG welding machine. You may need a welding machine to weld gas line because if you have a gas line that's inside of a wall, you can't have fittings inside the wall. You have to weld those fittings. So we use that MIG welder to weld those fittings. We also use the MIG welder to weld brackets. We may need to build a bracket for equipment that we have to install. So you may need a MIG welder, you may need a vise, you may need Unistrut. 
This is insulation. You may not have the need for this, but if you have a, say a package unit outside commercial and you have ductwork going up the side of a building, this is a great way to insulate. It looks aesthetically pleasing. It does the job. It's great insulation. Aerocell, Aerocell elastomeric roll insulation. This is one inch. So you'll see this on commercial jobs where you have ductwork outside and you need to insulate it. And just so you know what it looks like, that's what it looks like. Now we're gonna go in the parts room next and look at parts that you need to stock, but I'm gonna show you a couple machines we use. This is a bending brake to bend the metal. This right here is a stomp shear. This is what we use to cut the metal. These are four by eight sheets of metal that we use, 26 gauge. This right here is a Pittsburgh creating that lock. We got the lock former. We got a bunch of different machines that we use. And we also have a splitting machine. This is a splitting machine. This is what we use to create one inch straps or we create uh, two inch uh, pieces of metal, long strips that we can then make into drives. And I'll show you what a drive is because really you need drives and you can probably buy drives or you can make them. This is what a drive is and this is what's used to connect two pieces of square duck. And this is also what's used to connect two pieces of square duck. You need the drives and you also need the S's. This is an S. Pre-insulated line sets. I order pre-insulated line sets for all of my mini split installs and this is all leftover from ductless installs. And I also order pre-insulated line sets if I'm installing a new split system. I always like to change out my line sets when I'm installing a new uh, split air conditioning system. So I'll order pre-insulated line sets. Wire. You may need Romex wire. You may need armored cable wire, this little MC wire. You may need communication wire. That's a roll of communication wire. This is a roll of power wire for mini splits that's left over from jobs. You may need stranded wire. You may need black stranded, white stranded, or green stranded wire, depending on what you're actually installing. So make sure you have wire. Now we're in the parts room and I did a video on what parts you should stock in your service van. So if you want to check that out, go check that out. But we're going to go over what parts you need to keep in stock. So refrigerant. Refrigerant is one thing you need to keep in stock. We've got 404A, which is typically used on refrigeration jobs. We've got 410A, which is the standard right now for uh, any type of new 410A system. And then we've got this replacement for R22, which is uh, 422B. You may need a electronic backpack sprayer just in case you go to a place that doesn't have water that's accessible. You'll need a vacuum cleaner. If you, have, if you don't have a vacuum cleaner, you definitely will need one of those. Knockout kits. These are knockout kits. This right here is a snake. This right here is a hammer drill and a bandsaw. You may need those tools. Let's get back to parts though. You need capacitors, you need contactors, you need relays. That is definitely something that you will need. You need filter dryers, so we keep filter dryers in stock. We also keep rough-in boxes in stock. These are rough-in boxes for installing mini splits. If you have a new construction house, you need a rough-in line sets for a mini split before you go to do the final. I've got a video on how to install a rough-in box, and I'll put that down in the link in the description. So if you need that, go check it out. Vinyl tubing. You may be installing condensate pumps, 115 volt or 230 volt, and you may need drain tube to go with that. Typically, you're using 3H drain tube. We also keep 5H drain tube in case we want to install our mini splits with 5H flexible drain tubing instead of PVC pipe. Tape. You may need duct tape. You may need foil tape. You also may need polykinmastic tape. Uh, I think it's UL181. That's what we use for TVA jobs. You may need inducer motors. We carry a bunch of different inducer motors for carrier, for American Standard Equipment. You may need motors. We carry a bunch of different types of rescue motors. Econo Master is the one that we use. And we have the 3467s. We have the 3466s, the 3465s. So we have condenser fan 230 volt. We have indoor motor 230 volt and indoor motor 115 volt. And those are the different types of motors that we use. And we also have brackets. Diversitech makes a great bracket, five and a half inch motor mount uh, flex bracket. Okay, now we're going to move on to our wire nuts. 
our fittings for our gas piping half inch because this is most common size that we use we got unions we got t's we got elbows we got caps and then we've got shutoffs we also have these pads just in case we need to level up a piece of equipment but we don't have to do something major with it we just take and lift one side and put a pad underneath copper we have seven eights 90s 45s and couplings three quarter 90s couplings 45s half inch and three eights okay definitely need to keep some three eights in stock and we got couplings and 90s float switch you may need to install a pan underneath your unit if it's located in the attic that way you don't have a drain issue and it floods the ceiling and ruins uh, their home you may need a float switch then you may need conduit fittings we've got these conduit fittings that are half inch and these that are three quarter we got 90s and straights for each size then we've got silicone and this is the silicone we use right here and then we got screws we've got five sixteenths self tap screws and then we've got two inch screws all right breakers you definitely need breakers we've got breakers from 15 amp single pole to double pole all the way up to 100 even 125 amp double pole breakers so you definitely need breakers zip screws we also have a bunch of zip screws which i need to take out of this package but we have a quarter inch zip screws coil cleaner definitely need coil cleaner this is new bright coil cleaner this is high tech alka coil cleaner and then this is that polygon mastic i was talking about this is uh 360 17 polygon thermostat wire eight conductor 10 conductor 18 aug thermostat wire thermostats also this is an indoor evap coil cleaner that we use coil cleaner condensers and evaporators we carry t4 thermostats okay we carry t6 thermostats that way if you need your single stage or you need your two stage thermostat you've got it we carry t701s as well this is single stage for gas or heat pump and let's see shoe covers you may need shoe covers you may need a uh, mask what else what else what else let's keep moving for the rest of these parts, if you want to know more about these parts and what you should keep on your service van, go check out my video I did on how to stock your service van. That way you know I'm not going to go over all these parts. There's a lot of parts here, but you will know if you go check out that video. Hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope that if you're starting an HVAC business or you've already started your business, that now, after watching this video, you know exactly what to keep in stock. Definitely hit the like button, subscribe, and smash that bell. Ding! So you know what I'm doing. You've been watching HVAC Tips for Technicians. I'm Tad, and I'll keep you cool if you let me.